Hello, friends. Let's see if I can adjust that. Make it a little bit less terrible. Mm. Wow, just as bad. Super duper. It's going to take me a bit to get used to doing this again. My last video was Anna in full YouTuber mode. This is Anna trying to get back at it again. So I'm going to be looking up there sometimes and down there sometimes and we'll see if it's going to work. So before I tried to film a video of like things that I bought online because that's something that I like to do with my free time and I thought I'd just share it with you guys. However, I tried filming it on my camera, my phone, and my laptop and none of them had storage. Also, my camera wasn't working, but I fixed my camera. So now you get this really beautiful quality. Let's see if I can maybe zoom that in a bit. Whoa, yikes.net. Oh, that's better. Okay, so we'll do it like this. These are some things that I've purchased recently um, online, and also today I went to the Scholastic Warehouse because it's finals week, so what else am I gonna do? Study? The future is terrifying. So here are some things. So as you can see, there-ish and there -ish. So th those are my CD collections, um, and despite my car no longer having a CD player, I still like buying CDs. I just like how it looks on my shelves. Um, so two more that I added to my collection this month. Um, first one being Dear Evan Hansen. I've been listening to this musical a lot in the past like couple months. Um, it's funny, I actually was just like showing on Instagram and one of the sponsored posts was for Dear Evan Hansen. It was like, great, new musical, and I was like, I will be the judge of that. The reasons I love it are threefold. One, the person who plays the main character is Ben Platt. He played Benji in Pitch Perfect and he's phenomenal. Two, um, Alex Lacamoire produced the music for the soundtrack. He also produced the music for Hamilton, one of my other favorite musicals. Ahem. And three, the two guys who are behind it also did Next Normal, which is a musical that Amy introduced me to a few years ago. We also sang a song from it in chorus, like, we need some of our stories. You know, you know, you know. Moving right along. I was in Target and I got this, which is the Bob's Burgers music album, which is exciting. Um, I didn't actually plan on buying it. I didn't even know when it came out. I'd had the Amazon tab up for a while because I was, was just going to buy it online when it came out. But I saw it in stores and it came with a little bonus thing. It came with some Bob's Burgers trading card. We just got the main six. Can you see? Is it going to focus? How did My name's blurry face. Then recently, One of my favorite young adult authors, Rainbow Rowell, recently released a paperback version of one of my favorite books, which is Carry On. It's kind of it's kind of complicated to explain the concept of this book. It's actually related to another book by Rainbow Rowell, and it's kind of Harry Pottery in a way. It feels very Harry Potter, but then as you keep reading, it feels something different. It feels like something different. It's really good. I love it. There's a reason why it's on one of my favorite shelves. But Rowell recently released the paperback edition of it, which I've been waiting for. Um, it's fantastic. Um, it looks like this. She was like, I really wanted the paperback to feel like it was a fantasy book, and you really get that vibe from here. Normally I hate books that have pictures of people, human people on the cover, but like, for being real, this is Simon Snow. This is Baz. Um, but I don't know. I like it a lot. I'm gonna, I've actually started rereading it because I just love this book and it's about time, right? Okay, Scholastic. Scholastic Warehouse Hall. I went there and I, you know, got my big card out that takes up the entire aisle, filled it up, put back 80% of the books and bought only a few things. First of these being, um, where is it? Sorry, it's on my shelf right here. Um, the second book in the Trials of Apollo series, um, The Dark Prophecy. One of Rick Riordan's many, many books for one of his many, many series. Um, I haven't actually started Trials of Apollo yet, but I normally pick up the latest Rick Riordan book that comes out because it's always much cheaper than I would buy it at like a Barnes & Noble or Target or something, so that's that. Additionally, as you guys know, I have been recently, well, for the past like five years, been compiling stuff for whenever I eventually move out on my own. I got two today at this classic warehouse. Um, the first of them being cheesy, cheesy, quick and easy. You can see I actually got it for two fifty, so that's good. Um, it's just a bunch of like cheese-related and pasta-related dishes. So that's fun. This one's gonna be weird because I know I have an unpopular opinion for this, but it's actually Hellman's mayonnaise recipe book. I know it's weird. Um, my mom always makes this really, really, really good um, fish dish. Um, and it's like Parmesan crusted fish, and it's so fantastic. I think it's fun. It's not fun. It's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise can't be fun. There's some fun things. Spinach dip, you know. And then I got a couple of non-book related things from Scholastic. You know, you know how we do. I got these metallic ink pens. They're actually really pretty, um, but they're just glittery 
Can't tell. This doesn't help. Whenever I get new pens, I always end up like writing the same sentence over and over again just because I love writing with new pens, especially gel pens. I got this little guy. So it looks like a little gummy bear um, and then you decapitate it and it's a highlighter and um, it smells like strawberry gummy bear. I... Ugh, it's so good. Then I got this little gummy bear guy. Oh, did that wrong. He's an eraser topper, so he has a little butthole. Nope, not gonna put that in there. And they also sold little silly eraser toppers too, um, but I just think he's cute. He's like a gummy bear that I can't eat, which sounds like it sucks. But. Ooh. Um, so that's it for this thing that I decided to do. I just wanted to show you guys stuff. Oh, wait, Daiso. They got some like succulent things in, um, which is nice, and so I bought a couple of those. So they have these cute little guys. Not that you can see. Um, so you got these cute little plants. I like them because they actually look a little bit more realistic than ones that I've paid more money for at Target. And then I shopped around and I found a little plastic cup to put it in. And this one, this is, this is also a cup. It's just more of a fancy cup. Put that one in. So that's fun. But these ones will look nice because you can see I have like yellow pillow. Also, I got this tiny little one because it's just it's just really cute. I also started using these hair ties. Um, they're pretty cool. However, they do stretch out. Let me show you the one that I've been using. Oh, just kidding. It's in my hair right now. Um, but they do stretch out after a while, but you know, I paid a buck fifty for like a bunch of them, so. That's it, that's my haul. Um, cool, I love ending YouTube videos. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys later online. I'll see you online. Bye, friends.